Thanks. Thanks for the time. Uh, is this everything you dreamed of first time for you? It, it, what's it been like so far? I know it's a little different than maybe you'd imagined, but it, does it feel real at this point? Um, yes, sir, it does. Um, I'm, <laughs> I've been waiting on this moment for three years, so uh, to finally get here is just it's, it's everything. But um, we're still trying to survive in advance. Uh, Chris Oli? Yeah, can you just describe yeah, what it's been like just being having to be quarantined and stuff, like kind of kept just to yourselves to start up this whole process out? Uh, it's kind of it's kind of normal now. We've been pretty much doing it this whole year. Just, you know, it's kind of like rules and protocols you have to follow. So uh, we pretty much knew once we landed, we were going to have to quarantine for a little bit, test negative a few times. And uh, it's pretty much nothing new. We've been pretty much going through it the whole year. It's just a little bit different, a little bit bigger on the stage because it's the NCAA tournament. Yeah, Shakira. Yeah, Dex, uh, nice. Coach talked earlier about you guys going from being excited uh, to be there and now transitioning on being excited to win. Can you walk us through the process of like what the energy has been like for the team? Um, it, just, it feels like a new season almost. It's like another chance, you know what I'm saying? It just makes you forget about everything that, that happened in the past, but now it's trying to focus on just winning ball games right now, doing anything to just survive and keep playing. All right, yeah, Gary? I mean, you know, given this, this program's history and, and everything, I mean, where you all have, have, have been there, how much more does this one mean in, in your view? And, you, you know, you were talking about this being your first time, but how much does it mean for, for the program, the, the way that the season evolved? Um, I think it means a lot. I think it'll cap off a great story. Um, speaking of everything that went on earlier in this year and during the year, a lot of cancellation of games. Um, just fighting adversity all year, I think it'll just um, put the cap on a, a great story with a great group of people, uh, a great group of coaches, players, uh, staff, uh, trainers, everybody. It's just it'll it'll mean that much more to us. All right, the uh, Taylor Aldridge. You watch film on uh, number four Hemphill. It sounds like he's going to be coming back. What what do you see? What what does he add to their offense, and uh, what what makes him so good? Um, I mean, he was a pretty much uh, all conference guard for them. They have a, they're not like your usual uh, Missouri Valley team. They like to drive a lot of stuff off the bounce. So uh, we definitely want to push back and guard, but it's just another weapon that they've added that we're going to have to deal with in some way. But he has a lot to the team, uh, a lot more firepower. So, um, like I said, we definitely going to have to guard for sure. All righty, Jacob. It's always about play angry with the Shockers. You guys now as a, as a team in one of the first four games have a chance to, to prove people wrong. Are you relishing in that? Do you welcome that? Is that something you guys enjoy? Most definitely. Um, I'm really not too concerned about anything, uh, what's going on outside noise. I'm just uh, excited to still be playing with this first four play game. I don't. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm just excited we're playing. Uh, I'm glad some of my teammates get to experience this since they're uh, seniors, so um, um, I'm just really excited to play. I'm not really worried about anything else. All right, yeah, Shakira? It's just been kind of like a battle this entire season of winning games of five points or less. How much of an advantage is that for you guys heading into tomorrow's game? Um, <laughs> I think it's, it's kind of like a, I ain't gonna say a big advantage, but I can say we've been in those situations a lot this year. Um, and just so happened the last one didn't go our way, but uh, we've been in a lot of games where it's been really, really tight and we have to make plays down the end. So um, I think if that was to happen, I think we'd be more accustomed to it. Wouldn't really be a lot of panic or anything, but um, whatever happens is as long as we win, I don't, I, I don't really care. All right, Taylor, one last question for Dexter. Yeah, real quick. Uh, your teammates have kind of talked about the blur screens, the ghost screens. What's the key in, in guarding that? What's what's that going to take uh, on the defensive end for you guys? Uh, guarding that takes like it takes a lot of um, communication because uh, a lot of times it, it could depend on so much. It could depend on if they're actually setting the screen, if they're not setting the screen, if they're just ghosting it, like you said. But um, usually the guy. Uh, the dude that's come and set the goal screen, it depends on his communication and the guy who's guarding the ball. If he like kind of opens his hips, then the, the ball handler's probably going to get downhill. But if he just stays square until he at least get hit by a screen, 
it's probably going to be something different. But it takes a lot of communication and a lot of toughness, honestly.